These questions are about cubes. No two faces of a cube are the same. Each face has a different design on it from the other five. You are shown some views of a cube. Work out what must be on the top face of the last cube where there is a question mark. Sometimes you will need to compare all the views to work out the answer and sometimes you will be able to get the answer from looking at just some of them. In order to answer this question, we're going to consider these four views of the same cube. We're going to use what we note about the relationships between the faces on the cube to establish which one of these five answer options shows the figure missing from this face. To help us answer this question accurately, we can take a closer look at these four views. Like this. It's useful when you're working on this kind of question to note the relationships between the faces and, in particular, note which edge is shared by two faces. For example, you may be able to recognise how this is the shared edge between this face and this face. That same edge is present here in the final view of the cube. Because the two figures appear the opposite way round to how they appear here, it must mean that this cube is in the opposite orientation to how it's shown here. In other words, when the cube is positioned like this, it will be this figure which is at the bottom of the cube underneath. And therefore, if we can establish which figure is directly opposite this one, we can say what the missing figure must be. To help us do that, we can work out which four faces are adjacent to this one. Of course, those same four faces will all be adjacent to the missing figure too, because the four faces will be around the outsides of the cube like this, with this figure being on the bottom here and the missing figure being on the top. But they will, of course, share edges with those four faces. So we know that these are two of the faces, here and here. Another face must be this one. You can see how it shares an edge with this face. Another face must be this one. We can say that because if we consider the orientation of this triangle and look at its relationship to the two edges here and here, we know that this is one of the edges, and that's the same edge as this edge here, and therefore this must be the opposite edge here. That means that this figure appears in this position when the cube is in this orientation and therefore the four faces which are adjacent to this one are this one, this one, this one and this one. That means that the face which must be directly opposite this one is this one and this is the figure it shows. That means the figure we're looking for is this one, but we need to establish its orientation when it appears on this face here. To help us work out the orientation of this figure when it appears here, we can consider the orientation of this figure in relation to it. We know then that this is the same shared edge as we can see here, meaning that when the cube is in this orientation, that black shaded triangle is towards the rear of the cube like this. As you can see, the black shaded triangle would be towards the bottom of this face, as you can see the black shaded square is towards the top here on this edge, the black shaded triangle is at the opposite side of the next face towards the bottom. That means that it's the white shaded area which is closest to the shared edge between the face containing the black shaded triangle and the face containing the shape we're considering. Now note the orientation of this part of the figure. You can see that its orientation is the same as the shared edge. That means that the shared edge in the final view is this one and the orientation of that part of the figure must therefore be like this. Here is another shared edge we can consider. This is the shared edge between this figure and this one. That means that the same shared edge in the final view is here. And as you can see, the arrowhead is closest to that shared edge. So the arrowhead in the figure we're looking for will be in this orientation. The curved section of the figure is closest to the shared edge between this figure and this one. And that means the curve will be positioned like this. 
Now all we need to do is look for this figure amongst the answer options and check to make sure it's in this orientation. As you can see, although the correct figure is represented three times in the answer options, it's only correctly orientated in option C, meaning that C is the correct answer to this question. Top tip. Pay attention to the faces which share an edge. Note which parts of the figure shown on each face is closest to that shared edge. Try to recognise which face is missing based on what you note about the relationship between the faces. Remember, each face on the cube has a different figure on it. Now you can try a second similar question. Remember, you are shown some views of a cube. Work out what must be on the top face of the last cube where there is a question mark. In order to answer this second similar question, you're going to consider these four views of the same cube. Think about the relationship between the faces and edges which are shared. Use what you discover to decide which one of these five answer options represents the figure which is missing from this face. When you're ready, pause the video and try to work out the right answer to this question. You should try to do that within 30 seconds, and when you've finished working, you can resume the video and we'll check the answer together. In order to answer this question accurately, we can take a closer look at these four views of the same cube. Like this. Remember, when you're working on this kind of question, it's useful to notice an edge which is shared by two faces. You can see how this is the edge shared by this face and this face. You might be able to identify that same shared edge in the fourth view. It's this edge here. As you can see, to find this shared edge in this orientation like this, we would need to rotate the cube over so that this face was at the bottom, with this one towards the left like this and this one towards the right like this. That means that the missing figure here is the one directly opposite this one. It's currently in this position when the cube is in this orientation. So to help us work out that missing figure, let's establish which four faces are adjacent to this one. You can see how this is the shared edge between this face and this face, meaning this figure and this one are adjacent to one another. Here is another shared edge meaning this figure and this figure are adjacent to one another. Another shared edge would be this one. This means that this figure and this figure are also next to one another. We already know that this figure is adjacent to this one. But as you can see, this must be the fourth figure which is adjacent. Consider this figure. Its shared edge here is the same shared edge as this one. That means that the fourth figure which is adjacent to this one is this figure. It currently appears in this position when the cube is in this orientation. The only figure which is not adjacent to this one is this one. That means that when this figure is at the bottom of the cube, this is the one which will be at the top. In other words, when that figure is at the bottom of the cube here, it will be this figure which appears at the top of the cube like this. Now all we need to do is work out the orientation of this figure and then look for it amongst the answer options. To help us do that, we can look at the shared edge between this figure and this one. Consider the points of the figure which touch the shared edge. As you can see, it's this part of this line and this part of this line. Because we know that this figure is next to this one, it means that it will be on this face in the final view of the cube, and that means the figure we're considering must be on this face. The shared edge will be this edge here, and that means that part of the line will touch here and part of the line will touch here. The figure we're considering is this black shaded triangle. If this is the shared edge, then the longest side of that triangle sits on the edge which is directly opposite. In other words, the triangle will be orientated like this. Now all we need to do is look for this figure amongst the answer options and check to ensure it's in this orientation. As you can see, although the correct figure appears twice in the answer options, it's only correctly orientated in option A.
meaning A is the right answer here. Top tip. Determine which faces have a shared edge and then try to recognise that same shared edge in other views of the cube. By doing so, you should be able to eliminate some figures from the answer options.